Hi, it's me again with Corel Real Tips and Tricks, and I just did a video about making door dividers. And I've taken out these, if you didn't watch it, you might want to watch that, how we did this, but I've taken out these two uh, gaps so that it's we're, was we're wasting space if we're doing it this way. And then if a nut and bolts gets to the side of the edge of the drawer. So we're gonna make this one fit like a box. And there are several ways to do that, but this is probably the quickest way. We're still using eighth inch plywood. So I'm gonna make my uh, 0.13 and I'm gonna make it uh, 0.75 tall. And I'm gonna hit P and put this in the center of the page and I'm gonna hit P and put this in the center of the page. Now, I can start moving this and hold down the control button. It snapped right to it. So then all you have to do is control D and make a duplicate. And let's say this thing is 14 inches long and we need to move this thing 14.13 inches. Control D and make a duplicate and move it over there. It put it exactly where we needed it. Now we need just the opposite, but we're gonna go ahead and finish this one. So we need all these to look like this. So we're gonna take a virtual segment delete key and cut away that line. So these are gonna be our males. Now we're gonna take, I should have probably made a duplicate of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and smart fill that in, fill it in and move it out of the way. Boy, I moved it a lot. I don't know what I set my nudge factor on. Oh, I set on 14. So now I've got half of them. So these are gonna be going one direction. And this is gonna work for your outside edge too. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, but it's really easy. Matter of fact, we could make, let's just leave this. Let's just, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just have one and they're gonna be like that in both directions. So no matter, like a while ago, we made a duplicate and flipped it over. And you see that our, our tab is still the same. I, tip, I flipped it the wrong way. But our tab is still in the middle because we put it in the middle, but we're still overlapping. So let's just put that one back. And then just make your box. And if you think about it, you've got to make your box a little bit wider well, you really don't because your tabs are going to fit in there. So then I would just take a 14 inch. Well, you know what? We need to make them uh, 14. I'm, I'm, I'm shooting from the hip here by two inches. And this is where you would get a little bit of complicated because we would need to put those things on the end. And there's a way to do that. You know what? We can do it right now. Let's just do this. We've got a duplicate of this copy, right? We're gonna make our box out of one of these. And for doing that, we're gonna take our two point line and just draw a line from that to that. Take our virtual segment delete key and delete this. Take our smart fill tool and fill that in and that's our box. Now we need two of those and two of the opposite style. We're gonna to need to do whoop, we need to do the opposite on the ends. And that's really pretty easy. So we've got this done. We don't have to worry about this right now. We're gonna make the other side of the box. So control. Okay, this thing is now it's 14.26 inches. Control D and make a duplicate. And you know what? We could just move it over there. And what we want, we want the opposite. We want the, the males and the females now to match up. You know what, I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And this is, I mean, if you've watched enough of my videos, this is one of the main reasons I work in the center of the page. Because of this right here, we can get that perfectly even. Now this should work if we do this right. Let's take a two point line and go from there to there from there to there, and let's cut out this middle. Nope, only on one side. Nope, 
take it back. Let's cut out the edges. And I'm making this stuff up as I'm going or designing this as I'm going. So there is our other half. And really, this is probably what you ought to do. This would be the easiest. Now we're actually done. We're gonna have four of these and they're gonna be linked together. So one of them is gonna fit into the next one, into the next one. And we are 4.26 inches long, which makes it work. So if you don't understand, the next one will go control D, control D and make a duplicate. And it's just gonna to fit together, but it's gonna come out at a right angle. Now we need to cut the slots for these. And that's kind of easy too. I wish I would have saved that um, little drawing ahead of the item. So we're really kind of in the middle of our box because this is the male and the male. So that's, yep, we're even. So now what we need to do is make some slots for these ends. If you see, this is our slot. I need female slots all the way around our box. So I'm gonna take that, I should see this why I should have kept it, 0.13 by 0.75, and I'm gonna put it, P, put it in the center of the page, holding down the control button. I'm gonna put it right there. We're not quite there, it ought to snap right to it. Well, it might not snap. Let's tell you what, let's change our nut factor to 0 0.001. Sorry about that. And let's just nudge this slot just ever so slightly. This isn't, doesn't have to be perfect because it's the, I mean, it is gonna be perfect, but it doesn't have to, you know, uh, that big a deal. Now let's take our virtual segment delete key or our parallel dimension tool and measure from that edge to that edge is 2.67. Remember that. So now we're gonna take our, change our nudge factor to 2.67. Take our joint, control D and make a duplicate and move it over. Control D and make it over, control D and make it over. Now let's take away our box and that's what we want. I would, you could weld this together. I would smart fill it and then move that away and left click, right click. So this way it's all welded together. And I'm gonna guarantee that that's gonna to fit together. Cause you're gonna have, you've got two males that they're gonna slip in this. So your outer boxes are gonna be a little bit bigger than the other inner two boxes. And you can change the dimensions. You could, I mean, I just made them five. You could, you know, I, I could have blended them and then taken one out at the very first of the start. So I hope that's not confusing. This is your sides, these are your dividers. So that divider is gonna fit inside there when it comes off at a right angle. I really wish I could show that uh, better. But it, uh, so you've got four sides and they're gonna be linked together you know, this one's gonna go down, that one's gonna go across, and they're gonna, the male's gonna fit in the female and vice versa. And then all the slots in the middle are the females and all the dividers are male, no matter if it's flipped upside down or right side up. Anyway, kind of a fun project. Hope that helped a little bit. In my suggestion, if I was gonna do this particular, I would cut a piece of plywood, eighth inch plywood, the exact shape, and don't have to worry about putting notches in it, uh, just lightly glue it and lay it on there so you could take the whole tray out. Now this is only if the tray, if your drawer was 14 by 14 or square, you know, if it's oblong, then these have to be a little bit longer, but that's easily figured out. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.